I mean, I'm, I'm sure you see that I've been taking on these fast uh, that you see me posting up very uh, diligently, you know, eating um, and then going on a uh, minimum. Well, now it's like minimum 72 hour fast. But uh, starting on March 22nd, I believe that after that very after that very first smell on March 22nd, you know, by accident, I was hitting 72 hours. And from then on, I've just been rocking and rolling. And just to make it clear, this, this, this isn't to prove anything. This is actually something that I read about when I was 16. And if you just learn my age now, I'm 34 now. And it's just something that I really wanted to take on, you know. And, um, but I had to make a choice. And uh, about two months ago, two, no, no, three months ago, I told everybody that, you know, in April, I will be taking two weeks off. But that's because my body needed rest. And I understand that uh, when you exert a lot of energy, you need to intake food to keep your energy up and your calories. So, but it just so happened that we're in this pandemic that started in March. So it was like, yo, just why not jump on it? So I've been getting a lot of rest and I do understand that um, I had to pull back all my workouts, but it was cool anyway, because I was supposed to compete on April 11th for a bodybuilding competition and then take two weeks off to start a new lifestyle but just so happened that everything has been canceled and i said shoot it's even more perfect so now um but th like again this isn't to prove anything this is a lifestyle i actually wanted to take on before and i'm doing it now and how do i feel if you want to know how i feel i feel wonderful but i am going to tell you during the 72 hours leading up to the next meal it can get boring number one I do get thirsty. Number two, I'm drinking a hell of a lot of coffee. Number three, um, I do have someone by my side who is, who is we're, we're working as a team and a couple of people who I'm talking to, we're like, yo, how you fasting? What you doing? And, I, and I'm on a fasting app where I see other people um, fasting. And then also too, there are some of my clients that are taking on fast and that's motivating and inspiring me. But at the same time, I've been wanting to do this ever since I read How to Eat to Live at the age of 16. So where does this play? Where does this uh, play a role in my uh, competing and in, in, in different things like that? Number one, I'm not expecting to get as huge. Number two, I do have to be aware that I'm not going to be healing um, on a certain level as of what I was before, eating more than one time out of the day. Yet there may be something in this eating every 48 to 72 hours that. I don't understand just yet, so I have to put in at least six months of it minimum just to see how my body operates when I do train. And will I be training aggressively as I was before? Um, during the session, yes. Every day, probably not for the moment being, especially uh, since the parks are closed, the gym is closed, and then I only have my weights in the back, but sometimes it's raining, and then it's like, all right, cool. You know, so it's like that. So I'm playing with it now, but the diet, I'm being very disciplined now extremely disciplined, uh, totally disciplined. I have not messed up or broke it or snuck anything during the 72 hour fast that I wasn't supposed to. Um, again, I'm human. So, you know, coffee, just a little bit more cream and a little bit of caramel flavor in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, so, uh, <laughs> but I really do feel good. And um, a lot of people are DM, DMing me, uh, direct messaging me, instant messaging me, um, Facebook, you know, you get the picture, texting me about how to start a fast. But every time they ask me that question, it brings it back to myself. And when it brings it back to myself, it's like, do you really want to be teaching something that you really don't do? So me, me personally, I look at myself in the mirror and I have looked at myself in the mirror and I want to be the best example of what I teach and, and how I'm teaching it. And so that when I give the information, I stand firm and I stand my ground on it. So, and am I telling you to eat and live like me? Hell no. Am I telling you to live and eat like me? Hell no. But I do recommend, because of what the book says, How to Eat to Live, that you should take on a fast every month or every other month for three days, three times three days, which is nine, and then or 27. Because you have to give your digestive system a break. Now, what does this incur? Like, like what is this doing? So I read that eating every 72 hours what if you can only invite water and invite coffee that you will live a long time let me say that again 
what is this doing? Like, why am I doing this? Is because in the book of how to eat to live, it says you can live a long time if you eat every 72 hours and you will never get sick. So it just so happened that I was going to do this. And then now this coronavirus pops up and I wasn't like, oh my gosh, I'm going to do it because the coronavirus is here. No, I didn't say that. I was just like, yo, the timing is perfect. I didn't get scared. I still go work. People are telling me to stay home and all that stuff like that. I listen. But my clients, my massage clients did not stop me from coming to see them unless they had a sniffle or some type of symptom and or if somebody in their job had a symptom or a case and they was like, Vaughn, you know, you stand back. But they bent. My client, my massage clients been told me, Vaughn, you've been doing this. Like you've been doing a Lysol. You've been washing your hands before and after. You've been cleaning the massage table. You've been doing that. So that's why they never ever stopped me from coming to see them. Because it's basic cleanliness. If you have to tell a whole country to, to, to do things to stay clean, then, you know, this is good that they told people to stay home so they could clean everything for us. Anyways, going forward, so um, I hope this video inspires you. I wasn't going to go into much detail, but I am going to be taking on the one meal every 72 hours. I was going to do one meal every 48, but this is TMI. Turn the video off if you don't want to hear this. Turn the video off if you don't want to hear what I'm about to say next. Every time I hit into the second day, I'm still taking a shit. And it's like, yo, it's like, I eat this day, 36 to 40 hours later, I'm still, I still gotta go, a solid one. So that means toxins are still located inside of me because I have a six pack or eight pack or 10 pack at certain times, doesn't mean that it makes me healthy, but you know, heart, heart failure, heart disease in the United States of America, it's, number, it's one of the top 10. Hip disease is one of the top 10. Stroke is one of the top 10. Cancer is one of the top 10 because cancer starts on the left side of your colon. And then it's just like everything else is a trickle effect. So I'm just trying to dodge that bullet. And then, at, and then our 30s, men, as, we're, as it said by data, data says that men, we start to decline. <laughs> Fuck that. Excuse my language. But I'm just trying to take care of myself based on experience and what I've learned and application and doing my homework. So, if you want to learn more about fasting and taking on this and learn ways of implementing it into your lifestyle, I can teach you how to live a, a simple, healthy lifestyle. And then I can also teach you how to switch gears and train with the proper nutrition to support that and take it into competition. So, there's three different levels I just named. Basic healthy lifestyle, training, and then competition. Peace.